guys, how is it going? And welcome back. So I am back on M Creator, and today I will show you how to make the following blocks, items, fuels, and recipes. So, but uh, before we do that, first you'll need to click up res resources, click create item slash block texture, and then wait for it to load. There we go. Um, now, usually I change the apple into this because you can't get rid of the first layer and you can't do anything with it either, so it's kind of useless. Anyways, so let's say uh, we want to make a block and item and fuel, so how about an ore and a cloud? So let's see, what should my cloud material be? We'll go with this. And who doesn't love green clouds? That That's totally natural. So block, cloud, there we go. And now we can uh, cover it up again. Now let's make an ore. So where's the bullet? There we go. So we will go to uh, find a stone. Where is stone? There it is. And uh, the stone's super light for some reason, so you have to darken it up a bit. And then we want a little texture for the ores. Let's go with that. And then uranium's definitely green, right? Yeah. Okay. Green uranium. And then this will be your, oh, that's not how you spell it, uranium ore. There we go. And now, finally, we need our little chunk of uranium. So let's change this back to a bullet. And then what should we make it look like? We've got plenty of options. Hmm, let's see. Let's go with this. This looks kind of nice, I guess. And then we want a nice dark green. And this will be an item, uranium. And there we go. So you can just click exit. And sometimes the exit button won't work. So you can click resources, create atom block texture again. And if it still doesn't work after that, click this little button. And then um, give it a second. This will come up and you can just click skip. And there you go, you're back. So now we can make our first block. This will be the cloud. There we go. So we will just go ahead and uh, select each one. So I'll just kind of click on each face. There we go. And um, this is if you want to change it. So say you want to make a special type of vine, you would click on the vine button. But that's not what I want to do. And this is if you want to make your own custom model for the block. Same here. Um, name and GUI, just cloud. Hardness is um, how much you need to break it. So this is the hardness of each one. So we want it to be pretty much nothing. So yeah, we want. Oh, I'm gonna have to type it. There we go. And then resistance is its re resistance against explosions. So let's set it about one. There we go. Then does it have gravity? No, that is a terrible quality for a cloud. And you can pick which tab it goes in. So. I'll just leave it in blocks. Then I guess a shovel would work. And if it didn't drop itself, then you would click this and how much it would drop and stuff. Isn't collidable? Can provide power? No. Light opacity is how much light will go through it. So we want about 126 for the cloud. There we go. Oops. Then the material, it is pretty much like, I guess we can set it to air, I guess. Um, this is what it sounds like when you step on it, which we won't be doing, but we'll set it anyways. Then how much light it gives off. So, eh, one light would be good, I guess. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Come on. There we go. One light. Is unbreakable? No, we don't want it to be unbreakable. Then harvest level, so hand, stone, iron, so yeah, it's good with your hand. Then we can spawn particles around it if we want, but we're not going to be doing that with the cloud. Then this is complicated stuff that I will go over in just a second. So on like block right click, this basically means um, when you right click the block, this will happen. And I think pretty much all of these are self-explanatory. Now let me go over the events. Um, I'm going to go over these very briefly, and let's go. So open, open basic GUI, that is if you have a... GUI pre-made, then you can do that. Remove, add block, self-explanatory. 
uh, place schematic. Say you have a schematic loaded, you can make it place that. Like you just choose it. Change game mode. We'll change your game mode. Shoot arrow, explode, strike lightning, spawn entity are all self-explanatory. Then so is deal damage. Execute command. You can put a little command in. Uh, redstone power. You can make it put out redstone. Switch dimension. Add potion. Resize. I have not seen this one. Uh, self-explanatory as well. Set light value, resistance, play sound, open browser. Uh, okay. Teleport, clear inventory, consume item in inventory, add item to inventory, set time, set spawn, toggle downfall, play music, variable set, spawn gem, open crafting, open inventory, achievement get, and print insert object. There we go, very briefly. Now, if you wanted to make it craftable, you could, so, I don't know, air block. There, you can craft it with an air block. Then we can go into world generation. We want it to spawn in the world. So let me just go here. Now the red is the highest it can spawn. And blue is the lowest it can spawn. So let's just do that. Frequency on chunks means um, how many chunks it will spawn on. We don't want it too much. Then frequency on specific chunk is how much it will spawn in that specific chunk. So I guess this is good. And finish. Now, you want to wait for uh, this little thing right here. It will have little green letters when it is done doing what it's doing. And then you can move on and work on another thing. So give me a sec to wait for that to happen. And there we go. It is all done. So now we can go to create new element. We want to make item uranium. There we go. So now we can pick up the texture we had made. And... This little section right here is, um, this section is for lore, uh, which is basically what you will see under the name of the item when you scroll over it. So let's say, power radiates inside you. There we go. So now we can move on. Uh, this is also if you want to make your own special model, nothing important to that. Just now. Now, name and GUI, uranium chunk. Oh, that's not how you spell chunk. There we go. And then we want this in the items tab. Or, uh, we'll put it in miscellaneous, I guess. So there we go. And then this is how much it can stack. There, 62. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm evil. Enchantability, max item uses, tour, item damage count, destroy any block. Does item stay? Alright, not that one. Um, all from here to here are all if it's a tool, which we are not doing. Then this basically means you will not lose it. Like, say it's a bucket, and you don't want to lose that, then it will stay in the crafting grid, like, there. And we can make it spawn in chests, so sure, let's make it go in dungeon chests. Then the minimum there can be is two, maximum six, and then, um, probability, we want it low. There we go. And we do not want uranium grass seeds, so that's not good. Then, uh, more events and stuff. Then, if you want to make it craftable, I don't know, let's, let's use the cloud, and if you smelt the cloud, you get uranium chunk, whatever. And there we go, now we just gotta wait for the thing to compile. And there we go, it's all done. So now we can make the uranium ore. Uranium ore. Alright, so let's select the little ore texture we made. Alright, there we go. So, um, now I move on. Uranium ore. Um, hardness, let's see. Let's put it at about 6. That's what iron is at. 6. And then resistance. Again, I want to put it at iron, so it's like 15. Oops, close. So, 15, there we go. Has gravity. Eh, why not? And we want it in the blocks tab. Pickaxe, doesn't drop itself. Check. And then we set it to the uranium chunk. There we go. And then we let's draw. Eh, why not two? Isn't collidable. Can provide power. Yes, because it's very uranium-ish. It will be about iron material. Uh, some like stone. Luminance. So let's see. Um, let's set it to fifteen. Why not? Right. Right. So, oops. There we go. Fifteen. 
we want it to be broken and then where's diamond diamond is three so highest there we go and spawn particles around yes let's see what's a good particle hmm let's do happy villager why not and then we will do a tube really high particle spawning radius maybe a lower and not too many of them. There we go, next. Uh, these are all the events. Oh, I also forgot to mention tick rate is uh, the amount of ticks it will take for each of those to happen. Kind of hard to explain. So you can make a crafting recipe if you want. I don't know. You can put like stone with uranium. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Let's go to world gen. <laughs> Alright, so. Hold on. I thought. Never mind. Okay, so we want this not to be too high. We'll put it right about there. Generate in world. Frequency on chunks. Frequency on specific chunks. And finish. Let me wait for it to recompile. Okay, it is done. Now we go create new element. Fuel. Uranium fuel. Now we uh, click right here and put in the uranium ink chunk thing we just made. And this is coal power, so let's set it set of coal. Let's see, let's do over oh, nine thousand. Oh, weird, my uh thing just conked out of me and the footage stopped. Anyways, that's all we really need to do. Let's click finish and wait for it to recompile. There we go. And now, last but not least, we will make a recipe. Click that. Okay, so now we can make it, um, let's just put in the uranium chunk, and then is recipe shapeless? This means you can put it anywhere and you'll get the same thing. Then we will put in the cloud, there we go, and I think that's pretty good, and then finish. Wait for it to recompile, and there we go, it's all done. So now, if you want to test out your um, new mod, you click Start Client to start a um, test world. And this will take a while to load because it is running through mCreator and not Minecraft. So it will be um, a lot slower and probably even slower for me because I'm recording. Um, yeah. And I'm actually having to use a different recording tool because fraps won't work on mCreator. So that's also partly why my voice sounds different, and uh, this will make my game laggier. Okay, um, I will probably stop recording here to set up the world. Okay, so I just got the world um, started. Whew. Okay, like I said, this will be intensely laggy while I'm recording, so don't expect the best performance rates. Um, now, just a warning, when you create a new world, it will take a long time, and wow, the game sounds uh, really high. Let me mute that. Dang it. Okay, so, um, just a warning, when you create your first world, it will take a long time, and, um, little word of the wise, do not create a second world, because I tried that one time, and... You can't make more than one world. <laughs> Alright, so we got our item cloud and uranium. So, um, this is what the cloud looks like, if you're curious. Not collidable, that's for sure. So I guess seeing we're not going to see them in the air then, huh? So this is a problem. I might have accidentally... Ooh, I might have accidentally set the transparency too high, maybe? Well, it does make an interesting effect, that's for sure. Um, but it's probably up there in the sky somewhere. If it makes you feel any better. And then here is the uranium ore. So let me get a pickaxe. There we go. Go into survival. Mine it up. And we should get... Yep, there we go. We get our uranium chunks. The power of radiance inside you. Power of radiance inside you. Now let me give... I am player 982. Can I get myself a shovel? Okay. Oh, that's right. This is 1.7. Okay, I'll have to 
go back and get myself a shovel. Now let's see if the uh, thing works. Uh oh. Okay, so making transparent blocks probably not the best idea. Let's see if I can. Yep, I can get it. Ha ha. So yeah, probably not the best idea to make transparent blocks. That is a lesson well learned. Now let's go back to creative. Now where is the fur? There's a furnace. Uh, what should we burn? Let's burn one million jungle logs. Put that in. Yep, that seems to be working fine. So that should burn practically forever. Um, this is actually some a nice plains biome. I like it. What's the seed? There's the seed if you want to try out the plains biome. I like it. So anyways, that is all I have for today. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.